Yo. Yo, what's good? This Joey? It sound like Joey. Yo, what's cracking? Yo, what's good, Joe? You know what I'm saying? Yo, we got Joe Buttons on the line right here. And everything, you know what I mean? We've been waiting for a minute. And everything, you know what I mean? It's Joey B representing Jersey. How y'all Joe? feeling? Yo, what's good out there, Joe, man? You know, Slaughterhouse is tearing up the streets right now. Yeah, we trying, man. We trying hard. What 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 made you form what made you form a group with you know what I'm saying, Joel Ortiz, um, Royce the Five Nine and um Crooked Eye. What, how did that whole thing come about? Hip hop. Um hip hip hop made me do it. Like um hip-hop. around the time around the time last year, August, I, I put out a, a series called uh Who Killed Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. And um I remember somebody saying to me, you know, rather than Rather than you uh, rehashing on events that you think might have hurt uh, hurt the industry, uh, what are you doing to fix it? So that kind of that kind of stuck with me. I just felt like felt like lyrics were lacking at the time. Uh, I felt like lyricists were lacking at the time. Uh, camaraderie, unity, uh, just all of the things that uh, were so relevant and, and and alive in the '90s or or even earlier in this decade. So uh, we got together uh, for for extremely talented um and very capable MCs. um and the chemistry was there and, and everything was just right man it was god's work yeah that's what's up and um you know it, it's crazy to us as well though it's definitely crazy to us as well um the the, the bond and, the, and that union is growing every day um the music is only going to get better um the relationship is only going to get better um and hopefully we can just raise the awareness what made you uh Take to the uh, to the internet so hard, and anything as opposed to going to uh, going to you know what I'm saying the regular route that everybody else do. You know, you know they they find a record deal and they run wild and everything in the streets and all that. You know what I'm saying? But you guys took to the internet and everything, and you know what I'm saying. What was your what was your reason for that? I let you tell it instead of me telling it. Well, I mean, yeah, I didn't I didn't really have a, uh, too many options at the time. Uh, I'm signed to a major label. I was sitting on the shelf uh, with with no outlet to release music and, and rather than have my fans think that I had just fallen by the wayside, um, I just took advantage of technology, man. I, I got got online, just started putting songs out there, putting mixtapes out there, um, being visible there, being relevant there to one place that uh the industry didn't seem to to have a grip on yet. They didn't they couldn't control it. Um something that you can just do from the, the comfort of your own home. And, and I just exhausted all my energy there, and, and, and it paid off. Speaking of the Internet, um, in recent years, you know, you, you use the Internet to uh, to voice your opinions about about um, the, the stigma of hip-hop and with the, like, where the culture is going. And uh, I just want to know, like, like what like what made you come so political about um, about hip-hop and the culture and everything? Well, I mean, I'm, I, I was a kid. I was a kid just like uh, many other aspiring artists that wanted to get in the game and, and you know, had big dreams and, and fell for a lot of misconceptions. And, and once I got there, um, once I signed my deal, I just noticed that uh, things were very different than what I thought. But for, for political reasons, uh, me or anybody else who felt the same way that I did, you know, we weren't able to voice it or, or you'll be shunned or, or blackballed or ridiculed or... You know, you you basically be an outcast. Um, so once I began to feel like an outcast, which was uh, when I was on the shelf and, and just left for dead, um, once I started taking advantage uh, of the Internet and just uh, established that direct link between me and, and my fans, I, I could have cared less about politics or, or, or being quiet or, or, or not having an opinion. So... It's one of the it's one of the it's one of the things that comes along with with freedom, with with freedom from um, you know, political handcuffs. And and so it made sense that somebody in anything of you know what I'm saying, of your lyrical caliber to speak up on a, such a situation, anything such as that crazy bracket that landed in Vibe magazine. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean anything. you you got people that that get in these positions where they're able to write something or post something or blog about something. And that ultimately become popular opinion, or they're able to sway fans and listeners. I'm a firm believer that you know hip hop is just a genre full of of sick riders, pardon my French. So I mean, I, I just think it's important that when when those type of things come up, 
that that somebody in the know, even if not myself, anybody in the know, uh, speak up on it and just say, no, that this is this is inaccurate. Your girl Tahiri, y'all kind of ran wild with the internet thing, man. Even to the point where Tahiri got her own uh, her own uh, website now, right? Yeah, yeah, Tahiri. Um, where, where's uh, where's that whole thing going? Uh, where, where, wherever God intends for it to go, man. I don't, I don't know. I have a, I have a pretty entertaining household. Uh, pretty, pretty entertaining dialogue between me and my my significant other. Um, yeah. As a, as a result, she she went out. And she she got her own fans. Uh, she got me more fans. I mean, she's she's a popular girl with an amazing shape and a and a very powerful personality, very strong personality, uh, such as myself. So, maybe. Yeah. Um, hey man, yo, I, I think for real, for real, I think y'all both and they like together and everything as a couple. Y'all need to land on um, y'all need to land a, a reality uh TV show and everything for real. Like MTV, VH1. It don't matter where you go, Bravo. Who cares? And they, you know what I'm saying, but um, even if it's just a, uh, an internet thing, you know what I mean? Just something, anything that kind of um, that has episodes to it, and anything aside from, uh, I think y'all should land on the front cover of that Sweat magazine as a couple, and anything. You know what I'm saying? That's shameless. That was real shameless, I'm, right there. I'm, I'm all for it. I'm yeah, all for it. Up. She's all for it. Yeah, word it up. And anything, uh, I think y'all, I think y'all, for, for real, for real, y'all the y'all the realest looking couple out there. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm gonna be real because in the hood, in the hood, and everything, you know what I mean? Yo, chicks is trying to look like Tahiri, you know what I mean? And in the hood, you know what I'm saying? Dudes look like Joe. You feel me? Mm, yeah. And so, so, so I think that's where it really need to be at, and everything for real. Yeah, you just called them nah. like the first couple of hip hop. Yeah, y'all the first couple of hip hop in my book. You know what I mean? Oh, good, good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let her know that. I, I appreciate that. I mean, I, I don't know how 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 the the masses will whether they'll agree with it or not, but I'll definitely take that title. Well, I'm I'm pushing your envelope for you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But they got to sweat everybody over there, everybody listening, tuning in, and holler back at me anytime, man. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? One, one, one love, Joe. Definitely. Thank y'all. All right.